Kia ora koutou. this is Michael interrupting here. I guess nominally this is an episode of um, Isolation Blues, but it's kind of Isolation Blues light. It's more of a it's more of a Kelsey trim than a full blues. Just a brief thing to update you a little bit further. If you didn't get a chance to watch the Prime Minister and Ashley Bloomfield's uh, <coughs> briefing today. So the things I picked up from it, um, basically overnight there have been 11 new cases. These are in, in the community. There are others in managed isolation. So there's a total of 21 now to those ones from the other days. They are all in Auckland and they are all now in MIQ. <coughs> the thing that I got really from the briefing, um, which could come across as, you know, me being a breathless fan, was just an enormous amount of uh, respect and admiration for the work that the Prime Minister and her team are doing. Uh, all the scientists involved, all the public servants, Ashley Bloomfield himself, everybody that's helping track this particular new variant and the people in the community that are uh, are unfortunate enough to have that virus in their system and potentially therefore could infect others. The tracing has been wonderful. The rigour with which they pursue all their options, they're looking at the airport at um, security camera footage to see where the person who originally came from uh, New South Wales, who they kind of um, were in contact with, it's been just a mixture of dogged uh, and also, you know, scientifically sound. I'm just uh, very impressed. So keep in mind that we're all part of that, uh, that effort and we have to do what we have to do in order to help. You know, I know it's become a bit of a meme, this team of five million, but it is the truth. Each one of us has a role to play. And the worrying thing is that each one of us has a negative role to play if we allow our personal views to get in the way of the safety of our country. Keep in mind that as of today, face coverings are now mandatory for all people in public places. Uh, if you go to the supermarket, you're going to need to wear a mask. If you're walking along the footpath uh, near other people, you're going to need to wear a mask. Obviously, under level four, we don't have gatherings and uh, basically we're, ke we're keeping at home. I'm here at work completely on my own. Um, we're still able to present some programs to you thanks to um, computer technology. Some of our people will be sending their programs in live via Zoom and we'll get them up on the telly for you, uh, those of you who are watching the telly and obviously on the radio for everybody else. So yeah, we're able to continue, which we feel good about. Oh, another thing from that briefing was that the Prime Minister said that a lot of research had gone into whether it is safe for 12 to 15 year olds to receive the vaccination. Their research is very much in line with uh, decisions that have been made overseas. It is safe and therefore a good thing to do. Um, as the PM said, uh, the people making these decisions, many of them are parents themselves. Of course, they're concerned. They know what it's like to have doubts about the safety of things when your children are involved. They've come to these conclusions with all of that informing it, as well as science, which is pretty good. All right, that's it from me. Uh, as I say, it's, uh, it's blues light. And uh, if the lockdown continues past this weekend, then I'll kick into gear with something a little bit flasher, a little bit dark blue, more, not even homogenized. This will be full cream and we'll have music and guests remotely as well. So, all right, good talking with you. Stay warm, keep safe, be kind to others. It's not rocket science. 
And yet, it is. All right. Nga mihi mahana. See ya. Thank you.